In this video, you are going to know about publishing audio resources on online repositories. Here, we are going to use SoundCloud website to publish our created audio resources. SoundCloud is an online audio repository to share, podcast our created audio resources. In SoundCloud, you can browse others published audio resources. In SoundCloud, you can share, you can podcast your created audio resources easily. Here, you can create albums and playlists of your favorite audio resources. Also, you can connect to the different authors by following them on SoundCloud. Let's start using SoundCloud website. Now, we are in the SoundCloud website and this is the home page of the SoundCloud website. Here, there are many options like a sign in, create an account and sign up for free. Along with this, there is a search box where you can search different audio resources which is uploaded from the others. Example, if I want to search any flute music, I can go to search box and I can search music file music. As you can see, after I did a search on flute music, these are the flute music which are uploaded from the users. If I want to play any of these, I can simply click on this play button. And if I want to pause, I can use the same button. This way, you can play any of these music files without signing in. But if you want to upload your audios on SoundCloud website, you need to log into your SoundCloud account. If you don't have a SoundCloud account, you can create an account by using this create account button. Once you click on that, it will give you a list of options which you can use it for your account creation. One is, as you can see, you can create an account on SoundCloud by using your Facebook account. You can use your Google account or you can use an Apple account to create a SoundCloud account. In my case, I am using my Gmail account to create an account. Since my browser has already registered all my email IDs and the password, so once I click on that, it will directly log in to my account by using my Gmail details. After you logged in, if you want to upload your own audios, use the upload button, click on the upload, come to the upload section where it is saying that you can select a file by using a two option. One is the drag and drop option. That means you can drag a audio file from your file manager to the browser. Another simple step is you can choose a file from browsing your files. I am using this choose file to upload. Once you click here, it is asking you to select your audio file from your computer. So my audio file is in music folder. Here my audio file is Kannada story called Pestubitta Nari. So I am selecting this audio file to upload and I am going to click on open. It is uploading and now it is processing as an audio. So this will take some few seconds to complete this process. Under basic info, there is a title. So in this box, if you want to rename your audio track title, you can rename it here. And if you want to upload any specific image for your this track, you can use this upload image button. Then there is a genre. So you can select a genre from this drop down button, whether it is related to classic or country, dance, pop up, whatever is related. So under additional tags, so tags are more important, especially if somebody is searching this audio. They can, they can use this tags to search your audio easily. For example, it is already taken a tag called education. Along with that, I am going to give a tag called store. So this way you can keep adding a tags. And a description, you can give a description. Means if you want to give a more detail about your audio track, you can use this description box. Under privacy, there are two options. One is public and the private. Public means if you upload and if you select as a public, that means anyone can access this file from the link or by using this search option. 
private means it will only access per from the your account so here i am selecting public under metadata at the bottom there is a license section where you can give a license for your audio here under license there are two option one is all rights reserved and creative commons all rights reserved means if you select as a all rights reserved and if you save this others only they can listen this audio from the sound cloud that means they can't download it to offline they can't refine this audio but if you select as a creative common that means this license will allow other users to download this audio if they want to edit this they can edit it they can distribute okay. i'm selecting a creative commons under permissions there are many things but i'm telling about this direct download means if other wants to download your track easily you can give a download button for this track after you fill all the tabs just click on the save buttons once you click on the save button the file will be uploaded to your soundcloud account once it uploads this is the link for your audio track so here you can select you can copy and you can share it with the others easily after you do this next time when you log in to your account if you want to find out all your uploaded files you can go to your accounts go to profile and go to the tracks here you can see all your uploaded audios so these are the uploaded audios from this account so if i want to play this audio again i can play you can use the play button and if i want to share click on the share and this is the link for your track same way if you want to share your all the tracks from your profile directly you can share a profile using this share button by doing this people can directly they will come to your profile and they can able to see all your uploaded files if you want to log out from your account use this three dots on the top right side and select a sign up this way you can use a soundcloud website to publish your created audio resources thank you